name is Tony Quang. I am the Deputy Director at Equality California. We are the nation's largest statewide LGBT group. We have over 800,000 members. And I am here to talk about our... <laughs> Here to talk about our vote for equality program, which is our voting program this cycle. Um, I think folks know it is a critical election year um, for our community. Um, but in California, um, it's important to us because you know folks know we are the state with the most comprehensive rights um, for LGBT people. And the reason why we have that is due to electing pro equality candidates to office. Um, to date, we passed 115 pieces of legislation in California, and that's due to really strong champions, both LGBT and our allies. Um, so it's a really big priority for Equality California to mobilize the LGBT community this cycle. So first, how do we do that? Um, here is a PSA that we filmed that was played on TV in the primaries. Why vote? If you don't vote, California would suck. The last time gay people didn't vote, Adam Lambert came in second place. <laughs> in this world can't even vote, so why not take advantage of that? Why not? If you don't vote, you can't complain. A message from Equality California. <laughs> so, uh, this was one out of three PSAs that ran on three million households um, in Southern California. And we're hoping to play this again in the general um, and push it out through digital as well. Um, but this, so starting this summer and going all the way through November, um, we are doing a really robust voter registration program funded by Nextgen Climate and the California Endowment. Um, they've given us over 100 iPads and we will be deploying um, paid staff volunteers throughout the state, um, mobilizing the LGBT community uh, this cycle. Um, we have had over 12 prides and going to be doing a lot more community events between now and November to ensure that folks are registered to vote, but also so that we can capture their data to communicate with them about our endorsements, both for candidates and ballot initiatives. So Equality California PAC makes endorsements from the local to the federal level. Um, we, in the primary itself, we endorsed 119 candidates, um, and about 109 of them made it through um, into the general election. And we're still doing a few more for some local candidates and maybe state election races. The list of all our endorsements. Um, we have a pretty robust um, interview process where folks do a questionnaire and then interview with staff and PAC and make those endorsements. In addition to making endorsements for candidates, um, we take positions on ballot initiatives. Um, for folks that don't know, California has a really convoluted system for the ballot initiative, but we have nearly 16 initiatives um, on the ballot this November. Um, these are some of the issues that we may take a stance on. We've already um, approved, um, endorsed the tobacco tax ballot initiative. We are opposing um, the initiative by the AIDS Healthcare Foundation, which would mandate condoms in adult performers. Um, and we are also approved, uh, most likely will endorse the gun safety measure by Lieutenant Gavin Newsom. So once we make all of the endorsements for candidates and ballot initiatives, um, we have to communicate that to our members. Uh, we have been able to link our membership database to a voter file. So we have a voter file for 450,000 households in California, which is a huge list. Um, what we're hoping to do is fund a slate card um, that will be mailed um, when vote by, mail, vote by mail ballots drop, as well as when folks go to the poll. Um, that will communicate um, all the local endorsements in their area along with our positions and ballot initiatives. We will also be doing direct mail in a few of our uh, priority races. In addition to mail, we'll be doing um, TV in a number of key races. Um, this is an ad for one of our top priority candidates in San Francisco, um, Scott Wiener for State Senate. Before we decided on our choice for state senate, we asked, So, who showed a real ability to bring people together? From housing to education to healthcare, 
Supervisor Scott Weiner has proven that whether you prefer English, Goi, or Bangla, he will listen, understand, and get things done. This end obviously was focused to API households, um, but in the primary, uh, we spent 300000 and for the general, this budget for this independent expenditure looks to be about $102 million. Um, the reason why we're going all in uh, for this candidate is because this is, um, this seat is currently held by an LGBT member, and for a district like San Francisco, it's really important for us to have representation and being able to move really tough issues like HIV decriminalization. In addition to TV, we'll be communicating um, about our reimbursements via email and social media. Um, like I said earlier, we're able to really mobilize and target emails um, through our, our large email list and also reach folks via social media with targeted ads. Um, I think we have a combined reach between Facebook and Twitter about 100,000 folks, so we're able to really target that and get folks to share that content. And then last but not least, we will be devoting um, some staff and volunteer time to do canvassing, phone banking to our members throughout the state, and then lending them um, for GeoTV weekend uh, to some of the specific campaigns. And what does Equality California want for all of this? I think you know, we want to continue to elect LGBT candidates at the local level. We want to continue having strong pro-quality pro candidates in the state legislature, like these folks. We want to elect Kamala Harris in the U.S. Senate, and then we also want to elect Hillary Clinton and beat Donald Trump or Mike Pence to ensure that we continue having an administration that is supportive of the LGBT community. 